Hello there, it's your girl Daphne, back with another video. Hello there, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing an amazing DIY irrigation system that I installed last year. It is a system that is so easy to install and I had a ball laying it out and installing it and now using it so i wanted to share it with you guys but before we get too far i just wanted to let you know i appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me i wanted to welcome anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today and welcome back all of my loyal subscribers and i also want to remind you if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up so I'm super excited to be able to share this DIY sprinkler system with you. The name of the system is Rainbird, and it's a system that is very reasonably priced and is very easy to be able to install. I did it myself with only a little bit of help from my husband. It took me about one week to complete once I started digging the trenches. And that's with me working very slow because it was very hot out at the time. So the first thing that you want to do is unbox everything, see all of the parts that are in the system. I'm going to be putting an image up on the screen so you can see all of the components that come within this system. Okay, so now that you've laid out all of the pieces that are in the system, the next thing that you need to do is determine your layout. Now in the system, there's a grid um, which you're able to map out the dimensions and size of the area that you're going to be installing the system. Now based on the dimensions of my backyard, the U-shape application is the best for me. So I did three sprinklers on each side and I spaced them out evenly so that I have the best coverage. Now my next step was to just unbox everything and then attach all of the hoses and then also the sprinklers, do a nice layout. And I ran the system for about a week to be able to make sure that I had even uh, water coverage. And you can see right here, this is how we started out. That was how my lawn looked like. If you see, if you look closely, you can see all of the trenching that we eventually did in the U shape. And then we buried that um, tubing, which is attached to the sprinkler system. And then after that, we just covered it back up. We backfilled it and then we put back on the grass because we had removed everything and put it on the side and then after this I did a full overseeding I wanted to rejuvenize the lawn especially because we had the sprinkler system in so I had already purchased all of the items that I needed I used bluegrass seed I then covered it with lawn soil and then peat moss and the seeds took about four to five weeks to germinate and once it started germinating it grew and turned absolutely amazing we also used a little starter fertilizer which also greened up the grass as well and this is how the lawn looked last september this was about the fourth week of september so the whole process had taken about six weeks from the time that we installed the irrigation system and this is how our grass was looking looks absolutely amazing and that diy sprinkler system really helped out when i did the seeding because i didn't have to worry about going out dragging out a hose the system was in the ground all i had to do was just turn it on and run and i enjoyed it Thank you. 
Leave me a comment down below if you're considering doing a DIY system. So here we are, present day, July 22nd of this year. I'm just giving you an overview of the programmable timer for the sprinkler system. I'm turning it on manually because I want you guys to be able to see how the system works once it's running. So as you can see, all of the heads popped up and now they're just working, they're watering um, the lawn. And as you know, this year, the weather is very hot, but because I have this system, my grass is staying greener than it has ever been around this time of year. And I don't have the hassle of having to drag out hoses and turn on an above ground sprinkling system. So I absolutely love this system. It was worth all of the hard work and it was so cheap compared to having a professional come in and install it. So I am so satisfied and I definitely would recommend the rain burn system to anyone. I am so happy I was able to share this process with you. I like to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with any friends and family that might like my content. Till the next time, have a blessed day.